What's up, unique beauties? It's your girl, the trees back with another B U B unique video. <sighs> this fan's probably loud. Y'all read this, have y'all seen that thumbnail? And y'all already know why y'all here. Um, I'm not laying on the floor. I'm actually laying on my trundle that's under my bed. I just didn't want to have to make my bed up. I just want to put it up, if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me today because I had two videos that I had planned. But those two videos going to have to wait. I was just to get my nails done yesterday, but it was going to be too late for me to get my nails done because I wanted to hang out with my boyfriend because my boyfriend works longer shifts now. A whole lot, a whole lot of. So I was like, I'm going to just wait till the next one. Anyways, before my alarm interrupted me, um, I'm going to get my nails done next week. So these little, little fingernails is going to have to cut it until next Monday. And it's Tuesday and I haven't had my nails done in probably a month or so. So I'm sad about that, but I'm happy to be alive, period. Um, I have been laying here for probably an hour. Um, this morning I woke up because I spent the night at my boyfriend's house last night. And this morning I woke up at, um, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock with my boyfriend because he has to be working on. And I came back here and I kind of stayed up to like 10. And then I put on some jazz music. Y'all, if y'all need to go to sleep put on some jazz music it will soothe you like i don't know if it's just me but it literally soothes me and i go to sleep right away but now i'm here and i'm up and i don't want to get up and get ready for work but i have to so let's stop rambling and let's get up Zarika, and get ready for work and don't mind that because that that was my bag from last night my little spinner night bag you know period I'll see y'all in the bathroom. All right, y'all, so I'm in the bathroom now. And I just took, I forgot to do it on camera. I just took these CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't know how to say it. The makeup removing cleanser wipes. Um, I have those even though I don't wear makeup hardly ever. Yesterday I wore a little bit of makeup. But I have those because sometimes my skin from like my moisturizer and stuff gets really oily so i have to wipe that off before i cleanse my skin because it's like no point i'm just mushing oils and dirt around in my skin so i always wipe my face off before i actually wipe, uh, wash my face but let me tell y'all this little quick story time so i have a tiktok if you don't know that go follow me on tiktok now um but two of my videos on my tiktok kind of went viral a while back I, I think i told y'all but it's way more likes than it was when i told y'all so um i had did a shower routine on tiktok and everybody and their mama and their little sister and brother and aunts and uncles and higher minions all said that clean and clear was like the worst thing that i ever could buy for my skin so you know i was like damn i didn't even know that i i was just a clean and clear for a little while but i didn't see a difference in my skin so i had kind of stopped using it but i used it for the purpose of that video i was actually using like biore um black soap even though it's not real black soap because i can't use real black soap on my skin because my skin is way too sensitive for that it will literally have me like raw on my face so yeah i used like an off brand of black soap and that was kind of working at a time but now it had stopped like it wasn't doing anything for my skin i was literally continuously breaking out so i tried this stuff y'all and in my last video i told y'all that i was going to change my um skincare routine and i have noticed the difference within this past week with my skin so this stuff is a good recommendation i recommend it to anybody with sensitive and acne prone skin because i have really bad acne and i like this stuff so i'm gonna give it its props thanks to everybody that got on my ass you know i ain't no hating ass bitter bitch thank y'all for putting me on i guess so yeah um i'm gonna wash my face actually y'all 
I don't brush my teeth before I get in the shower. I actually like to brush them after I get out of the shower. And yeah, so we're gonna wash our face real quick and get in the shower. And I'll see y'all when I get back to the room because y'all already seen my shower routine. I still use the same soaps and stuff like that for my last get ready with me. Um, the only thing that's changed is my facial stuff. Nothing else has changed, so I don't feel like I need to show y'all that. But here I go talking too much again. So I'm finna get off this camera and I'll see y'all back in the room, period. <laughs> so i'm back in my room now i'm not wearing this this is just what i have on right now because i don't want to get dressed right now and i have to iron my clothes so yeah i just put my deodorant on i use degree dry protection shower clean in the scent and right now i am finna moisturize my face because i can feel that it's getting dry also i have like a little pimple right there so i'm gonna take my pimple popper thing i know you're not supposed to pop your pimples but that's why I got all these scars down here. But, yeah. Have to dip it in some alcohol and just make sure it's cleaned off. You don't want anything dirty. But it's like a little pimp. Y'all can't even see it. It's just, it was a white head. So that's out. I think it's one right here. Maybe this is scalp. Yeah, I think that's the scalp. And I don't have no other pimples to pop. But this is what I was really working on, y'all, with my face. So, my chin had broke out really, really, really bad. And I think it's from my mask. I changed my mask. I don't wear the same mask all week. Because I have the cloth ones and we have to wear them to work. Of course, everybody knows that by now. But, um, I wash my mask weekly. And we don't use harsh, um what's it called laundry detergent so i'm not understanding why i'm breaking out but it has to do with those masks like that's number one because they say that uh pimples that pop up on your chin is from your hormones like you want some some sex basically sorry tmi but my sex life is great so that's not the truth in this case because yeah but right now i'm just taking some ambi uh cream this is like a fade cream because like i said i pop my pimples and i know i'm not supposed to but they leave scars and stuff even if i don't pop them they leave a scar so might as well not have that pimple on your face real big and pulsy and stuff just in my case i just pop them and put fade cream on them which it helps i don't use this all over my face because i don't like the smell of it if y'all remember me telling y'all that but if you're new i don't like the smell of um ambi and now i'm taking my ponds and i'm gonna just put that on my face really right here because i'm really dry right there but I just rub that in and mix it with that ambi a little bit, you know. That's all I do for moisturizer. I used to wear um baby oil gel on my face, but I think that broke me out too. Like even though that's like for sensitive skin, I can barely put anything on my face because I break out easily. So next, I'm gonna just go ahead and do my lashes. I was gonna do my eyebrows today. I don't know if I should. I was going to do my eyebrows today, but I'm really not going to be cute, cute. So, I don't know if I should just... I don't want to do those because 
I'm gonna really have to sit here and all of that. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. So, I'm supposed to be doing this video where I try on different lashes for y'all. Which I still am. I'm probably gonna record it. Like, if I edit this while I'm at work today and I can get it together and upload it while I'm at work. Or at least edit and save it. Then I'll record my lash video for y'all tonight because we got these new lashes at my job recently and they're 30 mm i don't know if everybody been had those but we just got them and i wanted to try them at first i'm not gonna lie i did not want to try them i was like no those are too fucking big like too fucking big but i tried a pair and i was like oh I kind of like it and y'all know I already like big lashes so that was an issue from the jump I didn't want to get hooked on these and now I didn't bought like six pairs and this is a problem but it's nothing to go back down a size I'm not tripping off of that it's just I'm in the moment right now see look these are big I'm in the moment right now where I kind of I'm kind of liking them so, yeah, but everybody already told me, your latches are big, your latches are big. Do I care? No. Because I'm going to do what I want to do. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going to put my lashes on. I don't know if y'all want to see me do that, but it is a get ready with me. So, yeah, y'all going to watch me get ready and listen to me talk. You know, I'm not that interesting. Oh, he's sneezing. He having a sneeze attack. Um, yeah. So, let me tell y'all. I just been feeling like in a really good mood. Like, I feel like I already have a relationship with God. If y'all didn't know that, I used to go to church every Sunday. Um, ever since I was little, it wasn't like. It was like I grew up in church, basically, like we had to go to church. But once I got older, I I didn't want to go some Sundays because, you know, I was a teenager and I used to do stuff or be up real late and I didn't want to go on Sundays. But once I started really getting like a real relationship with God, I wanted to go to church. And now that we can't go to church, I'm like, dang, I want to go to church. Like, but anyways. I just been feeling like really like good lately about myself, about a lot of things in life, like um my goals that I set for myself, I have been reaching them. Um I'm sticking to a lot of things that I I personally like just know of myself. Like the only person that will really know is my boyfriend because that's the only person I really like talk to like that. So, um yeah, I just have been feeling really good about life. And then this morning when I woke up, I followed this Instagram page where they, they post your zodiac signs. And I really do believe in zodiac signs, y'all. Like, I really do. Like, some of the stereotype ones were like, it's just like some bullshit. Like, you know her vagina good if she's a, you know, or, or, um, like, I don't know, just stereotypes. Y'all know how people be stereotyping signs and stuff. But, like, the real ones where they pull the cards and it's, like, your horoscope reading for the day, I believe in those because I feel like it's true. I can't really get into detail, but I know a lot about my sign and a few other signs. I don't know every sign, but I know a lot about a different other signs. So, I'll be reading, like, this page um daily horoscopes or like they pull the cards and it'd be like like mine today said um capricorn you're doing everything right because i'm a capricorn you know we the first and the last the beginning and the end you know i don't feel like we're like the best sign but we top tier facts we top three facts and if anybody think otherwise i don't care but anyway anyway 
it was saying that I'm doing everything right. You've been looking at life like real positive. Keep doing it. Keep pushing yourself basically. Like, and I feel like that's so true because um a lot of people probably would have gave up, like if you was in my situation with a lot of stuff. A lot of people probably would have gave up and was just like effy, you know, like I'm not getting the support I need from people or like in general, you know. And a lot of people probably would have gave up, but I stuck to it and I'm sticking to it and I'm going to do it, you know? Because once I, ooh, look, y'all. Because once I, like, actually figure out something that I'm actually into, because, like, a lot of things change for me. Like, I change my mind on a lot of things. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> ooh, sorry. I don't know where that came from. But... I changed my mind on a lot of things like if i said that i'm gonna do something and i really started trying to get to doing it and i don't like it i'd be like no nah, i don't want to do it no more that's the type of person i am but like a lot of stuff recently like i have been sticking to it like going on a month now i have been sticking to some goals well really it started back in march when the like the pandemic hit us y'all um i started being intact with myself like in tune with myself like really caring for myself because i always have put others first like others like feelings opinions everything like that i used to put it first before myself but like once i had to be by myself for a little while because every day i was just going 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 with everybody like anybody and everybody so um once we had to get set down by corona i really started like focusing on myself more and i got me like even though i already had some i got me like a little journal but not a planner because i have noticed with planners if i try to plan day by day um shit don't go right and i get discouraged so i got like a journal and i can actually show it to y'all it says notes on the front Oh, I almost fell. What the frick? It says notes. Some of the pages are ripped out. But my pen stays on my last notes that I, I took in this book. So basically, I started it in March. And I started writing my stuff down. And it says goals this month, like on each page. And I have different goals every month. And every month i have hit those goals and i noticed like a change in myself like my attitude my positivity like everything started changing because i was the type of person to like get angry at things that was unnecessary and uncalled for like i just get agitated and i just be mad at like everybody but once I start looking at life differently, because you have to get out of that mindset. Like if something pisses you off, you have to get out of the mindset to like be pissed off for so long about it and be pissed off for like the rest of the day or be mad at everybody else and nobody else did anything to you type stuff. So um, I had to get up out of that because that was really toxic of me, like real toxic. And I can admit that, and a lot of people can't admit that, but I can, and I had got up out of that. I started writing stuff down, like what I wanted to change, whether it was attitude, money, um, Instagram, um, my health, anything like that, I wrote down in this book. And every month, I might have some goals that's similar to last month, but it's going to be like... Uh, progress basically if you understand what i'm saying i don't know if this is making sense to y'all but this is just how i'm thinking this is in my mind so yeah i've been really proud of myself lately so when i read that horoscope i was like yes like this is god it's nobody but god because like i said i've been feeling like real spiritual lately and i don't look for signs at all like i don't look for signs with nothing i just wanted to fall into my lap and that's what everything has been doing recently so 
everything just been like coming to me like I guess from God, you know. But I just had to let y'all know that like that's how I've been feeling lately. And yeah, and I cut my passion twist if you couldn't tell. And I like it way better than the long ones, y'all. Like, I feel like this fits me more. And I have gotten a lot of more compliments, like, with this, this look than the longer look. Like, when I had the longer look, people would compliment me, you know, with the blam. But, like, every day, like, every other customer that I check out is asking me, what hair is that? That looks so cute. Is that your natural hair? Da -da 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 -da. Everybody thinks it's my natural hair, and it's not. And I'm like... <laughs> That's the purpose of passion twitching out, girl. Period. So I am finished to lay these baby hairs down. I'm gonna take some jam and some eco styling gel and um lay my hair down. I'm probably gonna keep it in this style, the half up, half down, because I really like it like this. Um so yeah, sorry if y'all hear any background noises. My family is home today. And I don't know why everybody's off, but yesterday was Labor Day, so But yeah, y'all, that's just how I've been feeling lately. And I wanted to let y'all know. And I wanted to, like, I want to start, like, giving y'all, like, positive things, like, every other video to, like, motivate y'all. Like, because I know a lot of people be going through stuff. I go through things. And I don't really tell nobody. Like, I don't talk to nobody about my problems or anything like that unless it's my boyfriend. And he knows everything and he's good with like communicating back with me and giving me advice and stuff like that so i'm not tripping but everybody needs somebody to talk to even if like you already told your boyfriend and all of that stuff like y'all can come to me i'm not first off i'm not no messy ass bitch i don't tell nobody else's business like i couldn't care to like girl this girl came and told me that her and her family going through this i'm not that type of female so that wouldn't even you don't even have to worry about that with me because your business is your business if you want to tell me and you trusted me to tell me then i'm not gonna let you down and go out and tell somebody else your business so if y'all ever wanted to like if y'all don't have nobody to talk to y'all can talk to me like i will respond back to the dms like if you're serious about something you really need some advice i can try my best to give you advice i haven't been through a lot of stuff that a lot of people been through but i have been through some things so i might be able to tell you something like i learned this way from that experience type stuff so if you ever need somebody to talk to you can come talk to me you know i'm judgment free whatever you go through is what you go through everybody goes through things so i'm not gonna be like uh or girl no nah, that ain't never happened to me because i'm gonna try to give y'all the best advice that i can you know but basically with my face i'm done with my hair i'm done that's why i love these passion twists y'all because i don't have to do nothing to my hair but my baby hair is even if I don't feel like it, it can look like a way more natural style with my baby hairs just like out regularly. So yeah, I'm about to iron my clothes and I'm going to come back on here and show y'all the fit. And I didn't tell y'all that I was getting ready for work, I don't think. So yeah, I have to be to work at 2 and it's probably like 1.20 now. So yeah. 1.21. I was right. Okay, y'all. But I got to get something to eat. So... I don't know why I'm going to stop before work, but I want something cheap because one of the goals is to budget myself accordingly, and I've been doing that. So, I have a little bit of spending money left over this week to, like, get food and stuff, but I hardly ever eat out like that anymore, y'all, because I probably eat once a day now, y'all. I'm not going to lie, and I know that's bad, but... I don't be feeling like eating all day and I know what eating all day could get me. I had got big at one point y'all. I was almost weighing 150 and I'm 5'2". I mean I'm 5'3". So we're not going to get back to that stage. We're just going to keep it looking real cute and you know fine. I just need to tone my stomach up a little bit but I'm talking a lot so I'm going to go iron my clothes and then i'm gonna show y'all the fit and then 
we probably gonna head out because I'm ready basically. So now y'all, I'm dressed. I wish I, I should have just lifted my tripod up so I don't have to bend down. But I got on this plain white shirt, um, these blue jeans. I haven't picked my shoes out yet, but I also grabbed the jacket, y'all, because it'd be super cold in my job. And then I grabbed my um, face mask out the laundry room because I just washed them last night. I need to put a filter in there, but I don't know if I have any clean ones. Um, yeah, put a filter in your mask too, y'all. So, anyways, my mask matched my fit, y'all. Let me show y'all. So, it has like that purple in it. It's going to go with the jacket. It has white. goes with my shirt. And it has blue to go with my jeans. I'm probably going to wear some white sandals or something. I don't know. But... <laughs> a venti pink drink what else for you and then can i add um three pumps of classic syrup in it please yes ma'am what else for you and um can i get a protein box the cheese and fruit one what kind of protein box the cheese and fruit let me make sure i have that with you. okay Y'all the last time they have banana bread. It's looking like we only have the chipotle wrap, the grilled chicken, hummus, the peanut butter, and jam, and then the cheese and... Oh, actually we do. There's one. Okay. Okay, what else do you And then can I get a roasted ham and Swiss, and that'll be all. It's going to be like $20. But oh well, a little bit of my spending money, like I said before. Hold on, that's loud. Y'all, they just complimented me and I love it. Like, y'all are pretty too. Um, it didn't it wasn't $20 y'all it was 17 but still I don't need to be spending money like that on one meal for myself but it's okay though I'm gonna enjoy it and that's just how it's gonna be you know anyway y'all it is 1 51 I'm on my way to work now I'm actually gonna be there right on time because Starbucks is literally down the street from my freaking job but if y'all didn't hear me I got a ham and Swiss and I got a protein box, um, the cheese and fruit one, because I like grapes and cheese together. If you haven't tried that, try it. It's, it's, it's top tier. It's some good shit. Put it together. And then I got my venti pink drink. I haven't, I haven't had Starbucks in a really, 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 really long time. So I'm about to enjoy this. This is probably going to be like the only time I get Starbucks this month because, you know, I can't get back addicted to it like I was before. And you better not run into me because I know you see my blinker and you see me slowing down. So, yeah, I'm pulling up to my job right now, y'all. And that's the end of this get ready with me because I'm at work and I'm done getting ready. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share. Also, turn on my post notifications so you don't miss an upload on my channel. Um, 
give me video suggestions down below because I only have two that I have planned for recently and I mean for upcoming videos and I need some more and I love y'all input and I love y'all thank y'all for subscribing thank y'all for tuning in you already know all the links to my social media will be down below and I'll see y'all next time remember be you be unique and we out